So question four, light world, I'm going to use a highlighter here. Light world makes the super light bulb, which means uh, has a mean working life of 5,100 hours. That's the mean um, with a standard deviation. So standard deviation of 200 hours. The working life data uh, for the super light bulb is normally distributed. Light world advertises that the super light bulb has a working life of 5,000 hours. Calculate the proportion of super light bulbs that should have a working life of at least 5,000 hours. So what we're really looking for is looking at the proportion. So we're looking at our proportion that our K value is at least 5,000. So it can be 5,000, so equal to or greater than 5,000, which is a normal CDF calculation. So if we come into here, uh, go into distribution, a normal CDF. Um, oh, I actually have the amounts here. So it's 5,000, my upper is 1E99, it's just anything greater, so a really, really large number. Uh, oh no, my mean's not right though. Uh, so my mean of 5,100 and my standard deviation of 200. So if I paste that one in, you can see the proportion is 0 0.69 approximately so approximately 0 0.69 uh, you could give that as a percentage I guess but 0 0.69 is enough because that is a proportion calculate the probability uh, that a single randomly selected super light bulb has a working life between these two amounts just here so 4800 and 5000 so that's once again a normal CDF calculation so normal CDF, uh, we're wanting between 4,800 and 5,000. Uh, the mean and, yeah, that's all the same. So you can see that that's approximately 0 0.24. So the probability that it's between 4,800 uh, is going to be, yeah, so the K is equal to or greater than that, good, and equal to less than 5,000. Had to think about that for a moment. And that's approximately 0 0.24. Just like that. So, super light bulb um, guarantees to replace any super light bulb that, um, hang on, uh, that stops working before a certain number of hours. If the company wants to replace no more, that's actually a key word there. Uh, so, wants to replace no more than 8%. So no more than 8% of super light bulbs. Uh, how many hours of the working life should it set its guarantee? All right, so what we're really looking at is we're looking at finding the probability that our X is going to be uh, less than or equal to no more than, no, it's gonna be less than, um, less than uh, K. And the area of that's 8% or 0 0.08. That's the proportion that we're after. Now, when we're doing this, we're looking at, let's keep things straight. Uh, we're looking at an inverse norm calculation with an area of 0 0.08. Now, if you're thinking about that on our normal distribution, so let's say this is our normal distribution, you're looking at 0 0.8 as the left-hand tail. That's really what you're looking at here, finding what that K value, uh, sorry, the X value is. So the mean here is 5,100. Uh, the standard deviation is 200. So you can see here that we've got 4,818, and this is where we have to be careful with the interpretation because it wants no more than 8%. Now, obviously you can't have part of a light bulb, but if we rounded this normally to 4,819, you're actually gonna have more than 8%. That's greater than 8%. So you actually have to round this down. You have to work against our normal rounding rules. So um, therefore, the K value is going to be approximately 4,818. Um, so therefore, the company Um, should set its guarantee, oops, guarantee 
Uh, no higher. Then four, eight, one. Is that the working hours that I've just calculated? Oh, it is. Yep. 4818 hours. You can have part of an hour, but um, you should be rounding this down. You can't round this up because otherwise you're going to have more than 8%. That's the key to this. I mean, if you're doing a guarantee, you could even argue that you could do this lower. Um, but as long as you're not rounding this up, that'd be the key here. So, Lightwell develops an improved light bulb with a mean working life of 5,300 hours. Um, I'm gonna highlight this, mean working life of this, with a standard deviation of 100 hours. The working life data for the improved light bulb are normally distributed. The company makes blah 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 number of light bulbs. Um, how many of these light bulbs can the company expect to have a working life of at least 5,000 hours? So we need the proportion and then we need to work out how many of these light bulbs. So the first thing that we need is the proportion that our X is going to be at least 5,000. And that's going to be, I'm assuming it's approximately equal to. Uh, let's go distribution, normal CDF. Uh, we want 5,000 as our lower, our upper we want one E to the power of 99. The mean is 5,300 now. The standard deviation is 100. So if we paste that in, you can see it's approximately 0.999. Like so. So then we need to actually multiply this by uh, this here. So how many of these light bulbs can expect company expect to have a working life of at least 5,000? Um, so this will be uh, min life of 5,000 hours. It's going to be approximately equal to 0 0.999 multiplied by how many light bulbs we've got, which is 1,200. Uh, yeah, that's right. 122,550. So that'll be approximately... Point by one two two five five zero. Uh, uh, so it's approximately we can't really round. So this is the number of light bulbs. So we can't really round it to a decimal here. So it'll be approximately one two two four two seven light bulbs. So therefore, um, light world can expect to have a prox one, two, two, four, two, seven light bulbs. with a working life of at least 5,000, I think it's hours, wasn't it? Yep, hours. So a couple of steps in that. Um, you need to work out the proportion first, then multiply that proportion with the number of light bulbs that you've got. All right. The following normal distribution graph shows the working life of the super light bulb. Is that the original one? 5100? Yeah, it is. Okay. On the uh, scaled access below, add a graph to represent the working life distribution of the improved light bulb. So the first thing you need is the mean, and you've got to be thinking about this. This standard deviation is smaller, which means my mean, the peak of the normal distribution needs to be higher. So the mean here was 5,300. So if I draw this up, as it needs to make sure it's higher, um, that's where its peak's gonna be. You need to go three standard deviations away. So that's one standard deviation, two standard deviation, three, and that's roughly where it's, well, this is gonna be steep. Um, roughly where this comes in. 
you're going to make it as symmetrical as possible. Uh, then three away, so that's one, two, three. So try to make this as symmetrical as possible. The key points to this, as long as it's roughly symmetrical, um, you've got it finishing around three standard deviations or just slightly over, but showing that. And also the mean has to be higher than this one here because the standard deviation here was lower. Uh, so that's where your marks would be. One for the mean, one for it being higher, one for the standard deviations, I'm guessing.